we're going to go over 10 settings you're going to want to turn off on your iPhone and you're going to want to follow this very closely and make sure you do it so you don't have these settings on. It'll do a lot of things like help your privacy, increase battery, and just make your phone run a lot better altogether. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, make sure you go ahead and smack that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. With that said, we have a big list to go through, so let's go ahead and just dive in and get started. So on the phone, the first thing we want to do is go through some privacy settings. These are big, and the biggest one that has recently come about is Siri. Siri recordings are now an option to turn off, so let's go ahead and get into there. We're going to go ahead and choose settings and then we're going to go down to privacy. On privacy here, what we're going to do is go down to the bottom and choose analytics and improvements. Here, all three of these you want turned off, especially the improved Siri and dictation. So to go through this real quick, share iPhone and watch analytics. Basically, it's sharing everything you do if you keep that turned on. That way they can improve the phone. Next, you have improved Siri and dictation. They record what you say to Siri. People listen to it and they make Siri better. You definitely want that off because you don't want your voice to be recorded. At least that's how I feel. Share iCloud analytics, how you use iCloud. That's basically everything there. Let's go ahead and we'll go back. That's three settings at one shot there, but we do have more. I believe I have over 10. So let's go into advertising. And in here, limit ad tracking is kind of different. You have to turn it on to limit the ad tracking. If you don't, it's going to keep your ads tracking to a maximum, basically. You can also reset advertising identifiers if you want to go ahead and do that, or you could just click view ad information if you're interested in how that works. So with that, we're going to go ahead and go to a different area. We may come back here, but I believe that's pretty much all of those. Let's, let's scroll up and we're looking for personal hotspot. Personal hotspot for me is turned on and by default a lot of them are turned on. What this does is it allows people to connect to your phone and use it like it's a wireless internet. If you don't have people connecting, you should not have this turned on. It will drain your battery. And if someone does connect, it's going to drain it even faster. So with this, let's go ahead and turn this off so no one's connecting and it saves the battery longer. Let's go ahead and go back to settings. Now we're going to go ahead and choose general. And we're going to go ahead and choose a background app refresh. So this I have not checked yet. I have to go through all this, but basically these are apps that are allowed to work in the background. So there's probably some that I don't want. I know that one. Acrobat has no reason. Apple Store is fine. Audible's fine. I'll think. Fine. We don't need that. That. Um, books, I actually don't mind. And we'll turn those off. But basically, these will keep working in the background when you're not using them. You want to go through your whole list and make sure you get it set up correctly. If not, it's going to go ahead and use more battery because if they want to check, do an update or something, while you're using your phone and not even using that app, this will stop it. Not the Apple Store update, that would be a different mark. Then go back and back to settings. Let's go back to privacy. And in privacy here, we're gonna go ahead and choose location services. And these are the apps that are allowed to use your location you want to go through and check these never if you feel like they don't need a location while using if it's while it's open and always if it's okay to always use it. You want to go through this list and make sure those are set up correctly. Then we'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see system services. Let's go ahead and click on that. 
These are also services that are using location. So you can turn off what you'd want. I would leave, you know, emergency calls, find iPhone, share location, turned on. If you travel, leave setting time zone on. And on the bottom here, iPhone analytics, you could turn that off. Popular near me, you could turn that off. Improved maps, that's another privacy thing. Now that we're back at settings, let's go ahead and look for a sound and haptic feedback. There it is. And something that drives me crazy when you get a new phone is the keyboard clicks. You can turn that off right here. If not, it's going to click, 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 click every time you hit a letter or a number on the keyboard. If you like that, you can leave it on, but I know most people it drives crazy, so you could turn it off there. Next, let's go back to settings, and here we're going to go ahead and choose battery. In battery here, it'll go through and bring up some things for your battery. Let's go and choose battery health. And I personally would turn off optimizing battery charging. I feel like it's a setting you don't really need at this point. You can leave it on if you really want to, but a lot of times it may leave you without a good charge, especially if you're going through and using your phone at different times. If you are using your phone routinely on certain dates and times and leave it plugged in on those times and it's always predictable then optimizing battery charger would be okay to leave on but personally i would just turn it next let's go ahead and go back to settings and we're going to pass codes and accounts scroll down and fetch data what you want to do is turn push off here it will still go ahead and get the email, but it's gonna fetch it instead of push it. So every hour it'll check my email, but keep in mind, it'll also go through and check your email every time you go into the email app. And those are all the settings that you need to switch right when you get your iPhone. I'm glad you went through and switched all those to make sure you'll be up and running perfectly. If you have any other questions, we do have a lot of tips and tricks on this channel. I'll go ahead and put some videos I recommend here. I want to thank you so much for the view, and I will see you over there.